Hey, Warren, he's back. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back. Oh, <laughs> listen to that thing sing. What an entrance. First day up north. <laughs> That's a tuna. Look at the head shakes. Guys, welcome back to the first series. We're going to call this series Living the Dream because that's exactly what we're going to be doing for the next couple of days. Listen to that thing sing. We've had such an eventful couple of days, or well, two days really, because we came up from Perth and the Navarra. Well, we had to send that back home. I had some issues. Jumped into the dad's car, we've got the tinny. We're going to be snorkeling, we're going to be diving, we're going to be fishing, we're going to be exploring some insane reefs, and of course, we're going to be taking you guys along with us to show you guys how we live the dream. Well, let's get into this. Come on, put you back into it. Ah, there goes the lure. That's what happens when you work with light line. The old Halco slice. Oh, well, well that's 10 minutes into the trip already. We're in for an absolute epic trip. I cannot wait. Swap sides, I reckon. Oh, swap sides. Sorry. You're right. Thanks. Good work. Oh, it's going to go out there now. Hang on. I'm on, I'm on. Shit, mate. Come on. Oh, how's the commotion? I'm off. I lost mine. That's a good fish, Jack. Get back out there. Oh! Listen to that thing hum. What a session to start oh, no, the day. No, 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 no. He's off. No, he's not. Yeah. Man, how unreal is this? We've been treated with absolutely pristine weather. The viz is just perfect. There's a couple of bombies off here. Boys are just having a flick. We ended up, what did we drop? Three tuna out the back. So depressing, but it is what it is. You can't really complain when the weather's like this. We've got a whole week full of glass out. It's just, it's gonna be unreal, to be honest. We actually missed a massive tropical cyclone that came through and just devastated Calbarri and Northampton. And we're pretty lucky to have this weather. So I'm super, super grateful. I, I didn't get any footage on the way up as we came through, because I thought it might be a little bit disrespectful to film people's houses that have been destroyed and stuff. But if you guys want to donate, head over to my Instagram. I might even put the link below in the description as well. Feel free to donate. If not, make sure you share that link around, get as many people aware of it as possible, and we'll try and get that place back to normal. I spent a lot of time at Calbarri growing up, and it's somewhere that I really, I hate seeing it like this. So if anyone can make a difference, please do your bit, try and get it back to normal. We collide, we When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Then we break up just to stop All mates in the water, there's a little black tip reefy to circling around He's a little bit scared of sharks He's alright There's little puppy dogs though so beautiful though how good is that drone footage it's crazy and it's that good in person as well anyway i think it's time to get in the water because it is stinking hot this time if you haven't seen got the nomads bucket hat the nomads long shirt because last time i got so so burnt my skin's still recovering from it so i'm just going to be a little bit more sun safe this time but what are you doing jack oh he's got the knife just in case something comes at him but this adreno knife here so good what did we pay 16 bucks for it it's actually really good quality as well and I mean, who knows? I don't know how long it'll last in the salt. It might only last a couple of trips and then rust, but it does say you've got to oil it. So we're going to take care of it and we'll test it out and see how it goes. But for 16 bucks, show us your arm, Jack. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it was just playing with it before and it's just cut all the hairs off with ease. Like it just literally goes past. So all in all, pretty good knife for the price. Anyway, you guys are seeing the bird's eye perspective. Let's get in for the fish's perspective. Think about me one time before you go
So what I'll do, mate, is sweet and smoky barbecue shapes, or whatever they are. Not too bad anyway, but how good is this? You guys, if you want my Instagram, you would have seen. Alco has supplied us with an absolute heap, heap of lures. And it's so good as well because last trip you guys would have seen, I caught all my fish on these lures, especially the stick baits for the trevs and um, the tuna. The actual best lure that we've got, where is it? Show us up, up there, Jack. Just the Halco Twisty, I think they're about 15 grams and their yeah, dad's got one on as well. We got, so we've got a heap of 15 grams and 20 gram lures. Cheapest lure, I highly recommend you catch all sorts of fish. You catch tuna, mackerel, trevally, and whatever else wants to hit it, to be honest. So the plan now, to grab, I don't know which colour I'm going to go, probably this one actually, chuck a little sticky on, little Slide Dog 105, and I'm going to cast that just at the back of the reef here, hopefully catch a trevally or, I don't know, something small even, we might be able to punch out the back of the reef again and catch some tuna, like we did before, and that'll be dinner, so we'll take you guys along with us anyway, let's get into it! Got another fish, just trying to get one in, oh what is it, it looks like a, a, a... There's something jumping behind Yeah, it. let me get that, hang on. Oh, oh shit, there's a chair. <laughs> Let's get those gloves on. Look at the teeth on him. Oh, <laughs> get <laughs> here. There you go, look at the teeth on him. So you get it. Oh, it's alright. not what we're after, but it's a good bit of fun. Next destination, it's super murky around here, but man, I'm absolutely dead. I just wear myself out, or we all wear ourselves out every time we go and do anything, because I just get like, I, especially me, I get so energetic. I just want to go see everything and do everything, and it just wears you out big time, especially being in the sun all day. So anyway, we're back down here. The old tuna just ate that up for breakfast, two-wheel drive. Like in this beach, is pretty hard, but the boys are sitting around here. We just copped ourselves a nice little meal for lunch. What do you got? Jack's got the no sugar chalky milk. Dad's got the double shot Cheers. iced coffee. And you got the chocolates as well. So yeah, we're just gonna chill here anyway. And that'll probably be it for the end of the day. But what do you guys reckon? What was your highlight of the day so far? Uh, the more I eel or getting busted off by whatever that big fish was. Yeah, that. That more eel, actually, I'm gonna roll it on right now. So we saw this huge more eel. Well, Dad saw it first, and he started yelling out to us. So he dove down, and this thing just came out the cave. Looks super cool. I'll roll on that, show you guys that now. so awesome this place it's day one as well like who even invents this location it's just crazy i've got to move up here eventually anyway guys we're probably going to shoot back the boys are already in the car we're going to go back get camp ready because yesterday was just a big shamble and then we shot straight out in the tinny this morning so we'll get everything ready get prepared for the next couple of weeks in the tinny it's just going to be so good living the dream this is what this series is going to be called cool, like i said earlier in the episode guys so stay tuned if you guys haven't yet make sure you subscribe if you've been watching for a while Stay tuned as well because it is going to be an epic series. We're going to amp this series up and we're going to do some epic things. Fishing, spear fishing, diving, exploring these insane landscapes, coral reefs. We might even go inland and look in there and change things up a bit. So I'm keen. I hope you guys are keen. But until then, see you guys next time. Cheers, guys.